from Bollywood, weighing at 235 pounds, the King of J. Singh. Read it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Or should I say, I am. Folks, it's main event time, and oh my goodness. Look at the ring gear on display from RJ Singh. For anyone that knows anything about me, it's no surprise that I am rather impressed right now. Singh is king and Singh could very well prove to be inevitable. Folks, you know everything I just said about having a, a lot of respect and loving the ring layout and the ring gear of, of RJ Singh. Yeah, yeah, scrap that, scrap that. Of course, brings me to my second problem. You see, I have no real incentive to be here. Now, Sunset Skip, you are big and you are tough, but you, quite frankly, are a paper champion. You have held that Pan Arabian Championship for too long without defending it. So, Skip, if you are any kind of man, get out here and put your championship on the line. RJ claiming. Then allow me to introduce you to your opponent. Stop hold. Make some noise for the Hofbader, the inventor of the Sunset Flip. He is the 76th time Pan-Arabian champion. He hails from Bad Street, GA. He weighs in today at 275 pounds. He is Sunset Skip! Sunset Skip. The Pan Arabian champion himself, Sunset Skip. Folks, this match. A wealth of experience, two guys that have been around longer than I have, let's put it that way. Sunset Skip, RJ Singh, two veterans of the British wrestling scene. Love them or hate them. You've got to agree that it would be a hell of a dull place without either one of them. And these 
Hearts who are about to go to war for that Pan Arabian Championship. So folks, the gold is on the line. Skip willing to prove he is more than just a paper champion. Of course he hasn't been able to defend it. I'm not quite sure what RJ was, uh, was, was thinking really. There's been very few championship defenses over the past 18 months. Main event time folks. And there's the opening bell. Collar and elbow tie up between these two behemoths of the British wrestling scene. Over 30 years experience between both men. But of course, with that experience comes the fact that neither of these men will be able to pull stuff out of the bag that the other hasn't seen before. It's going to take some level of innovation if you want to surprise your opponent. And if surprise isn't the name of the game, then I guess you're just going to have to out-wrestle them. Another collar and elbow into the hammerlock. RJ really wrenching on the hammerlock, but of course, Skip knows how to reverse it into a hammerlock of his own. And really wearing RJ Singh down to the mat. But look at that, rolls through. And again, that's how it's done. Crowd here in Stockfold, not a fan of the King. And again, back into that hammerlock. And there's that low leg sweep into the front face lock, but again reversed into that arm bar. This is the thing, folks. Both these men could wrestle their way out of anything. So this pendulum of momentum is going to swing back and forth. We're going to see lots of reversals. We're going to see lots of counters. But the real question is, who's going to be the first man to make the first major mistake? Because that could be the difference between victory and defeat. Is hear the crowd cheering on Sunset Skip. Chance of easy. I'm not quite sure Sunset Skip would agree with that. It's just taking some work. But so far, Sunset Skip in control. Outside headlock from RJ. Pushes him off. Big shoulder tackle. 
scoops him up. Just toys with it, slams him down. Skip almost playing with his food right now. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, but RJ floats up and over. Oh, dishes out and ends a Guri right upside the head. The sunset skip is rock, folks. Corner for a DDT, but you telegraph it, and someone like Skip is going to counter it. Couple of big European uppercuts, couple of gut thrusts. Skip's calling for a bit. Is he delaying a bit too much right now, folks? Is he showboating to the crowd a bit too much? Hooks him up, lifts him in. Oh, now look at this delayed vertical suplex. All the blood rushing to the head, but RJ able to land on his feet. Skip shoves him off. And then helps RJ up to the outside. Oh, hung up over that top rope in a very precarious position. Oh, we could be looking for a bionic elbow. Oh no, went for the lariat, blocked it. Oh, and stun gun from RJ Singh. Oh, and a big lariat on the, on the apron. Now RJ springs up and in, oh, into a back elbow. Skip with the boot up though, and again. And up to that second rope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Boot quite well. Box the ears. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, RJ just swept the legs. Sending Sunset Skip tumbling down to the mat, crashing down with a thud. Boy, what's RJ doing? Has he learnt nothing from tonight? You never touch the prize until you've won it. This could be costly for RJ Singh. But regardless, he's in control right now, folks. Putting the boots to Sunset Skip. Crowd showing absolutely no love, no respect for the king. You can hear the UBW fans here in Stockfold. Absolutely thunderous for Sunset Skip. The louder they cheer for the Sunset one. The more that RJ Singh takes that personally, the more punishment he does to Sunset Skip. Front face lock. Looking for that DDT again, but again. Again, just telegraphed it a bit too much. And Skip ready for it, just backed off. Manages to escape the wrath of RJ Singh. <laughs> Looking for an Irish whip, but Skip holds on. Just wails away at sunset Skip. I mean, RJ, if you're going to ask a question, you might not like the answer right now. He wants to know who the king is. And right now, Sunset Skip. Okay. Oh, big atomic drop. I 
And a big clothesline sends both men crashing over the top rope to the outside. The sunset skip just goes over to pick the carcass of RJ Singh. And this main event now threatening to go all round stop fold. Just chaos here. Oh, big roundhouse from a fan that everyone getting involved. I'll be damned if anyone says that UBW doesn't stand for community spirit. That's effing teamwork, folks. RJ rolling to the relative safety of the apron. Needed to catch his, his breath, but hell, I don't know. I don't know how safe the outside is right now. That's skip territory. A shoulder tackle. RJ floats back in, hits the ropes. Oh, but runs straight into a blue thunder bomb. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, shoulder up. Shoulder up. So far, this main event delivering folks. Two of the absolute veterans of the British wrestling scene. RJ Singh can barely even hold his own weight right now. Trying to get RJ up, but he's dead weight. It's like trying to lift a sandbag. And RJ, by lowering his center of gravity, wait, one, two. By lowering his center of gravity, just makes himself that much harder to pick up. That's just science, folks. Oh, big super kick. Huge super kick. Two. Oh, shoulder up. Shoulder up. That is definitely just a two count, my friend. No amount of royalty is going to get you the three count just like that. He's tuning up the band. He's got him in his sights. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Blocks it. Oh, bionic elbow. Rapid fire from Sunset Skip. Irish Whip follows him in. Big corner splash. And again. Oh, and another big splash off the ropes. And a big burning elbow again. Sunset Skip is firing on all cylinders right now, folks. Oh, person the commentator went for that elbow drop and RJ able to get out of the way. And there's another back elbow from RJ Singh. Oh, but well picks him up. Oh, to a well slam. Off the ropes, and an elbow drop. One, two, ah, shoulder up again. Sunset skip, unable to keep the king down for the three count. Skip calling for the end, picks him up, but RJ able to land on his feet. Sends Skip into the corner. There's a kick off the ropes. Running, swinging, neck breaker from RJ Singh. One, two. Shoulder up. It just seems no matter what RJ Singh throws at Sunset Skip, Skip always able to power out. Just hear the UBW fans 
loud and proud for Sunset Skip. Oh, now referee Nick Cooper coming in to take the belt off of RJ Singh. Oh, low blow, low blow. There's the DDT. Oh, come on, not like this. One, two. Oh, shoulder up, shoulder up. RJ Singh was that close to being the new Pan-Arabian champion. Folks, RJ Singh just ducked the lowest of lows. Went to hit him with the belt. Referee Nick Cooper doing his job, taking the belt off of him. And then just straight up low blow, a blatant low blow. Would have been a disqualification if it wasn't for the referee not seeing it. That's a short on clothesline. Picks him up, big power slam. And now Skip pulls him in, picks him up, power bomb! One, two, three, Sunset Skip retains! What a main event! Folks, it was a momentous, thunderous main event between two of the absolute legends of this industry. Two of the very best this country has ever produced. And two performers that we will not see the likes of again. They went to war here in Stockfold. But Sunset Skip walks out victorious with that Pan-Arabian Championship still around his waist. What a main event, what a show, what a crowd. But folks, this has been UBW, this has been Hurricane Rana. I have been the mastermind Oli Spring and we will see you next time at UBW.